Hello, wind energy enthusiasts. Join me on a fascinating journey into Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology Innovation. This video unveils important information about Kite Mills' innovative design. How does the Kite Mill Airborne Wind Energy Technology work? Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology begins with the meticulous design of its kites, specifically tailored to withstand the challenging conditions encountered at high altitudes, ranging from 500 to 1500 meters above ground level. These kites are engineered with durability in mind, resembling the design and shape of commercial airplanes. This aerodynamic design not only ensures the kite's resilience in harsh atmospheric conditions, but also allows it to efficiently capture wind energy in regions characterized by stronger and more consistent winds. The foundation of Kite Mill's technology lies in the connection between the kite and the ground station through a thin yet robust tether. This tether serves as the vital link for energy transfer. As the kite gracefully moves through the air, propelled by the force of the wind, the tether dynamically responds to the kite's motion. It acts as the conduit through which the kinetic energy generated by the kite is transferred to the ground-based generator, initiating the process of energy conversion. The tether plays a pivotal role in energy conversion within Kite Mill's airborne wind energy system. As the kite produces lifting force, this force is efficiently harnessed by the tether and subsequently transferred to the ground station's generator. At the ground station, advanced technology converts the tether's tractive force into electricity. This process ensures a seamless and efficient transformation of wind energy into a usable form for integration into the power grid. To navigate the dynamic and ever-changing conditions of high-altitude winds, Kite Mills kites are equipped with an intelligent control system. This system incorporates multiple sensors that continuously monitor the kite's position and swiftly adjust its altitude in response to variations in wind conditions. The intelligent control system not only maximizes energy production by keeping the kite at the optimal altitude, but also ensures the safety and stability of the entire airborne system. How does Kite Mill's airborne wind energy technology compare with conventional wind turbines? 1. Altitude Kite Mill's technology can reach altitudes between 500 to 1500 meters, where winds are stronger and more consistent, compared to conventional wind turbines. 2. Energy Density Kite Mill's technology provides increased energy density compared to conventional wind and solar energy sources. It harnesses wind at higher altitudes, resulting in a higher energy yield and stable energy output. 3. Material Usage Kite Mill's technology needs less than 10% of the material usage of conventional wind turbines of the same capacity. This reduction in material usage contributes to a lower levelized cost of energy and makes the technology more sustainable. Uh, what we are doing is to line up the forces in a smarter way so we can handle the same power as a conventional wind turbine with only 10% of the material. 4. Environmental Interference Kite Mill's technology entails minimal interference in the surrounding environments, both in construction and operation. It is barely visible from the ground and has less investment tied up to the site. This is in contrast to the visual and environmental impact of conventional wind turbines. 5. Flexibility and Relocation Kite Mill's technology can be relocated during its lifespan, offering flexibility in deployment. This scalability reduces the costs, materials, and space required to deliver clean and reliable energy, making it highly adaptable for various locations and applications. So the main difference, because it was quite difficult to build wind turbines to, to, these, altitude, to these heights, uh, but, but the wind turbine is an obstacle that will be there for 20 years when you install it at 25 years. We will be an integrated part of the air traffic, so we can be prioritized, we can land if we need to, to uh, give way for prioritized uh, uh, operation in the airspace, like a military operation or rescue operation, and this makes the process much easier. Here. And, and the civil aviation authorities and EASA knew, have, have known that the unmanned aviation industry will come for quite some years. So, so there is implemented new rules and regulation that are perfectly aligned with our operation that allow us to roll out this one on a, on a European level. And we also see the same rules and, and uh, methods are adopted in North America and all around the world. So, so on the regulation side, uh, things are moving very 
nicely. What is the current status of Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology in terms of commercialization? Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology is advancing towards commercialization. The current status of Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology includes 1. Norse Airborne Wind Energy Project, NOIP. Kite Mills Technology is set to feature in the 7.5 million euros Norse Airborne Wind Energy Project, NOIP, backed by the EU Innovation Fund. The project aims to build and operate the first 12 airborne wind energy systems, demonstrating the readiness of Kite Mills Technology for utility-scale deployment. The first pipeline project has been funded by the European Innovation Fund, so they have awarded a project of total 7 million euro cost that will demonstrate uh, 12 100 kilowatt units operating during a three-year monitoring period. 2. Commercial system unveiled. Kite Mill has unveiled its first commercial system, with a 20 kW system currently in field testing and a 100 kW system under development. This marks a significant step towards commercializing Kite Mill's airborne wind energy technology, demonstrating its readiness for practical deployment. 3. Third-party verification. Kite Mill's technology has received third-party verification from reputable organizations such as Evros and DNV, indicating the credibility and reliability of the technology. This verification is crucial for gaining trust and confidence in the commercial viability of the airborne wind energy system. 4. Investment and crowdfunding. Kite Mill has secured significant investments from Envision Europe Limited Ignatia and the European Innovation Council, showcasing the financial backing and support for the development and commercialization of its technology. Additionally, the company's crowdfunding initiative aims to support the completion of the world's first permanent test center for airborne wind energy. 5. Potential for scalability. Projections show that Kite Mill's KM2 system could be scaled up further, reaching a 40 meters wingspan and generating 3,000 kW power cycles. The company is also ready to conduct demonstration projects in new markets, indicating its readiness to expand and commercialize its technology globally. What is the maximum altitude at which Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology can harness wind power? Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology can harness wind power at altitudes above 350 meters, far higher than conventional wind turbines. The technology is designed to operate at heights where the winds are stronger and more consistent, providing several advantages over traditional wind turbines. Kite Mills Airborne Wind Energy Technology can harness wind power at heights between 500 to 1500 meters above ground level, where the winds are strongest, steadiest, and most predictable. In comparison, the tallest wind turbine, the Vestas V236 15.0 MW offshore prototype, stands at 280 meters, 919 feet tall. Therefore, Kite Mills technology can reach significantly higher altitudes compared to the tallest wind turbine, allowing it to access more powerful and consistent winds for energy generation. How much energy can Kite Mill Airborne Wind Technology generate? Kite Mills Airborne Wind Technology has the potential to generate significant amounts of energy. The KM2 system, which features a 16-meter wing span, is capable of generating an average power cycle of 100 kilowatt. Furthermore, Kite Mill envisions scaling up the KM2 system to a 40-meter wing span, capable of generating up to 3,000 kilowatt. The technology is designed to harness wind at higher altitudes, where the winds are stronger and more consistent. Kite Mill have a team of more than 20 people. We have experience from the wind turbine industry, general aviation, automotive, we are from Norway, oil and gas of course, and we have really strong industrial partners. We have the best test site in the world, 